Hello everybody and welcome back to No Place Like Home, where today, as I just mentioned, although it's probably been a day or so for you guys, so I might need to refresh your memories, uh, we are going to be finishing off the farm, clearing it all out, because that's what you've got to do in the first couple of episodes of this, just got to get that farm nice and tasty. We're going to get that uh, rubble upgrade from Rudy and we're going to use that to go off to the village. Um, I'm also gonna have a quick look at the llama house. In fact, we can build the llama house, so I think that's another thing that would be really nice to do. We've got eggs. Um, I do need to cook some feed, though. Okay, you just want a wash. But a lot of you need feeding, okay. I'll work on that. There's certain combinations of things that uh, don't turn into mashed potato and turn into food instead for the chickens. I might have to wait until I can get something different planted, like like tomatoes, for example. I got a few more plant fields. I, I am still wanting to expand the farm, but past a certain point, I probably will stop that unless it seems particularly necessary. Because there's been times in the past where the field has just been too big and has taken too much time. Still probably won't delete anything though. I'm terrible for that. I'm like, I have to keep everything. What if it's useful later? It's doubly worse since the time I soft locked myself. <laughs> Triply worse. Probably when I died, I got a whole new thing of water. Right, so let's just... Fill up my water again so that I can beat things up if I need to. It looks like there's a few bots uh, running around the place. But we don't have any quest to build them a lodge quite yet. In fact, before I start like totally getting into clearing up, I'm going to go and check with Rudy. I love your hat. Apparently you can have parties with your animals now as well, which is really cool. I'm just going to check Rudy's shop. I might have a bit more of a talk to Rudy as well. There's a few options I haven't mentioned. So now I have an egg, I can upgrade to my rubble drill, which is lovely. Let's have a chat quickly about why you didn't come to the station. I don't think I want to talk about that, you know. I didn't get an invitation. Things happen. I guess I just didn't deserve to go. But it all worked out in the end. Your grandfather took care of me, you know. He taught me a lot. It turns out that life here can be pretty comfortable when you get used to it. I'm totally sure I can fit in here much better than in that posh and shiny new society that chose to cut off from its past. Interesting. I also seem to have, like, a book here. Farming for dummies. Can I? I just need to take that back to Cornelius, I think. So, yeah, I'm going to just quickly um, clear out the rest of the rubble in the farm. Then we'll go see Cornelius, I think. And in all the quests. I do like having a, a start to this where you've got a nice clean farm. Though. It just makes me feel good about the rest of the playthrough. It's kind of a bit like tidying up before you start cooking. Like I can't... I can't do quests in a messy farm the same way I can't cook in a messy kitchen. Hello. And I'm wondering if I should try this time to like see if I can capture all of the animals. Although I don't think any of the rest... Of, I've, I've asked this question before. I don't think any of the rest of you um, who've replied to me about it actually ever try to get all of the animals <laughs> captured. Domesticated. Homed. Okay, so we've got this side of the river done. In record time, it does seem to be a bit quicker nowadays to clean things out, which it, I think it was taking a bit long before So I do, I do think moderating it a tiny bit was fine. Ah, it looks like this is now um, cut off uh, into a new area. I know they've had to do that quite a lot. 
I've added the more transitions and things just because some people have been really struggling with uh, like performance issues and things. I don't think I ever have, but I've always had a reason to be good computer. Obviously, being a, a Let's Player, it's kind of a necessity for my job to have a decent computer. I recently upgraded. Oh, there's a bowler hat for my chickens. <gasps> I'm gonna be totally putting one of those on. One of the I, I promised Kardashian a hat, so I think Kardashian is gonna be getting a hat. Hmm. So Rudy doesn't really hang around to tell you about things anymore like he used to. He used to kind of help out with the uh, gosh. They're all ganging up on me. My water's gone now. Might be good to go and pop it up, I don't know. Or I could just be like, I could just run around like a fool. Not worry about them. And just run around and just get everything cleaned up. already died once. They're clearly making the robots harder now. To be fair, they were a bit of a pushover before, so... Yeah, let's see if we can find them. There's one. Ah, no, no, no! <laughs> Ow! Difficult when you all decide you're gonna gang up on me. Owie, 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 ow. Don't you run away and then spit at me. Okay. I think we're good now. <laughs> we got rid of them. So that used to be like a tutorial dungeon, but it doesn't look like it is anymore, which is quite interesting. I'll pick up these boxes, but I don't have much inventory space to be picking up a ton of them, so I'll try only to pick up the ones I need. Another chicken. Although you can't come live with me at the moment. I don't have space for any more chickens. Just gotta try and basically <laughs> make enough room that I can see where all of these enemies are coming from. And then we'll get this whole place clean and beautiful and lovely, like I like to do in this game. See, so yeah, there's still enemies. I see you over there. I think we might have got all of them now. Got different music now, so you know, fair chance. Beautiful. Lovely, clean, nice. Open that suitcase. 
So I'm hoping by the end of episode two to be through the farm area and then three, four, maybe five we'll spend in the village. We'll do the village underground and all that. That takes a while actually sometimes to do the, the village plus the village underground. So I don't know whether to separate it into sort of a little bit of time in the village, then a little bit of time in the village underground or whether to sort of do what I've done before and do a bit of one and a bit of the other. I'm not really sure yet what I'm gonna do. But I'm hoping I should have some pumpkin seeds now. It seems to be what it usually progresses to. But yeah, if I have any trees that I need to make an orchard out of, I'll probably, again, put those down in the village. Um, probably like cows and sheep and pigs through here. Whatever I can't fit in the other side. These are annoying because I've got to stop hoovering to pick them up. Like, how dare you interrupt my vacuuming bliss? <laughs> okay, we're close now. We're nearly done. Ah. 94. So Sir Cornelius is through here. So this is the second time we're seeing him now. So I might be able to hand in my quests to him here, actually. You never know. I hope they haven't changed too many of his locations. <laughs> I'm fairly comfortable knowing where he is. So I don't know what's the deal with this, because that used to be a way through. Used to be like a little tutorial sort of dungeon thing, and now it's not. So that's quite interesting. Right, so hopefully these suitcases should go away soon. Um, I need... I do have the rubble drill, so I can get through that way as well, but... It's always good to get rid of the boxes, because they clog your inventory up something. Chronic. Unless they stack now, they might do, you never know. So this always used to be... A little sort of way down, there used to be a little shortcut down to, uh, to Mark from here. But I'm not seeing that anymore. So I've picked up a Japanese decoration or bucket. And basic stuffed pumpkin. Because it's, it's a gold box, so it is a recipe box. Gentlemen greetings, Lady Ellen. I decided to stop here one last time. This farm truly has become a jewel of the entire village. I would like you to have this souvenir. You really did a great job. Now. Would you like to hear some stories about this place, or do you have to go? Um, it's always good to learn something new. You might wonder how there's still so much fertile soil in the area. The farm used to be a public garden, but then it was abandoned. Still, it was protected long enough not to get too polluted. Now, if you excuse me, I have to go. My quest awaits. Bye! So we've also got a little doofer down here. Another banana hat! Yes! But yeah, not, not quite so many little places that I can go from here um, so I probably won't come back here until I need the llama in fact I can start and I think we could probably I don't know can we name the llamas no we can name chickens I'm hoping we can name pigs and things but it looks like llamas are all just called llama Maybe we could because they're like robotic, you know, not living things. They're just robots. They just get like called llama, I guess. Yeah, I struggled to get an angle on that one for a second. But there we are. So next time we come up here, probably all of these suitcases will be gone. Which would be quite nice. But we now have the rubble drill. In fact, I should be using fast travel so much more than I am. I'll go back to the farm that way. Although, I don't think I may have forgotten to go and get the, the special little parcel, but uh, never mind. 
Right, um, plant some lettuces maybe? Lettuces, pumpkins, that sort of thing. Probably needed pretty soon. Did we get any pumpkins? We did, so I definitely think I should plant at least a couple of them. Oh, so we've already got glass scrap. Used to create disco ball for chickens. What? And I got my chicken box. I like to put those kind of near the chicken coop somewhere if I can. Oh, okay. Those are quite nice. Honestly, that might go nicer in my house than outside. Right, let's give you some hats then, guys. I'm afraid I didn't quite manage to find um, any uh, bowler hat for you. I didn't quite manage to find any... <laughs> what am I on about? Any food for you. But I did manage to find some hats for you. <laughs> there you go. I might change the hats about. Maybe put them on some of the pigs and stuff. Once I get, If I can get a different hat for each chicken, then I'll know which one's which. Like, so now I know that... Uh, Kardashian has the bowler hat, and I know that Mona and Phoenix, I think it is, is it Phoenix and Mona? Phoenix and Mona, yeah, both have banana hats. <laughs> Would you like a battery? So I don't know how many, is it five I need? This one? There's usually a number three out of five, yeah, let's see. You will be number four. But I don't know where five would be. We'll have to find them. Maybe in the village. I'm not sure. So I'm going to head... Uh, I'm going to get some water. Head down to the village and start clearing out down there a little bit, I think. Although, do we need to go back to Cornelius, like, over here? Hang on. Have a look at our quests. So... Yeah, like, I haven't brought him back farming for dummies. I hope he's still maybe hanging around down here so I can give that to him. Yeah, he is. Cool. Quest all done. Now, could you please tell me, where's my grandfather? Yeah, it's magnificent. However, have you found the perfect outfit for your favourite chicken yet? Wait, what? An outfit for a chicken? Well, yes, chickens are fond of costumes as much as humans are. We're all quite similar to each other, although we choose to play different roles, don't you think? I never thought about it this way. Nevertheless, there was nothing about outfits in that book. Some pages were missing. And why would chickens need those clothes? Oh, for the party, of course. A party? Of course, we love a good party. It brings us together as a family. I was once a great host myself. Did I mention that I'm a master at sewing as well? Give me five scraps of fabric and I will make you a masterpiece befitting my clan's heritage. You can find the necessary parts under nearby, nearby trash piles, sorry. Okay, so I must say this Cornelius is an odd fellow. Partying when the earth is so trash seems somewhat frivolous. I guess chickens aren't really to blame for this, so I can help them. Especially since he has such a cute hat. Five scraps of fabric are needed for a chicken hat, which, uh... I was told it's essential for said party. Okay, so I have some chicken scraps I can give them to Cornelius. I've made a brand new house for Cornelius as kind. Okay. Um, I have all of the scraps of fabric that you needed. Amazing, let it be known that Sir Cornelius is nearly as skilled with a needle as with a sword. Here you have it, try on some handsome chicken. Not just me, I'm too modest. Sorry, try it on some handsome chicken. I'm too modest and I have a hat already. Return to me once you place the hat on the head of your favourite chicken. If we were in a game, it would most likely be done with the Arky. <laughs> I like that. Okay, so we're going to throw a party with the chickens. <laughs> so I'm supposed to place this on my favourite chicken. So I'll find one of the chickens that doesn't already have a hat. Um, so you, uh, Rue, doesn't have a hat. And you get... Oh, aren't you glad you waited for your hat, Rue? Because you get a top hat. Wow. 
So we've got two banana hats, a top hat, a bowler hat, and no hat. But apparently I can make, out of scraps of cloth, hats for my chickens. Okay, so I put the hat on the chickens. Um, I found this book in the trash. Is it yours? Congratulations, this is the book. At least part of it that was important. Now I'm happy to say you're ready for your quest. My quest? I have a lot of things to attend to, being a hero of these lands and protector of the innocent, you see. And since your grandfather isn't here to take care of things as he always did, the duty falls on you. You know my grandfather? Do you know where he is? I'm trying to find him. What happened to this place? Yes, I know him and I'd love to tell you everything, but unfortunately I can't. Not until I put aside my worry that my brothers and sisters are properly cared for when I've gone on my journey. Ah, okay, so what do you need me to do then? As you've read in the finest piece of literature you've found, you need to create a proper environment for my kin. You need to build a chicken coop, befriend a couple of my mates by handing them some delicious potatoes, and then build a kitchen so they can be properly fed later on. We still need to do the kitchen part. Okay. We have one less hatless chicken now. Excellent. Now we can proceed to the last piece of the puzzle. I will make us a disco ball. I need you to th bring, sorry, bring me three clean glass scrap as the materials. I do have that. So let's go. I have all the glass parts. I will take some craftiness, but I think I will manage. And here's your disco ball. Now, let us indulge ourselves with some disco. Place it near the chickens, okay? Place a disco ball near the chickens. It's disco time! It's kind of cool that it's night. Chicken disco dance. Foul triumph. This chicken party was quite amusing. That said, I mustn't get distracted. Cornelia should now finally tell me what's up with my grandpa. I have to go talk to him. This is awesome. I'm trying to just get like some kind of like. <laughs> they can just keep having their party, I think. <laughs> I don't know how long they're supposed to party for or if I'm supposed to take their disco ball away. But they can keep partying for a bit. Uh, all done. That was actually quite fun. And I think the chickens are much happier now. <laughs> But the disco ball broke apart in the process and I still have no idea what happened to the farm. And where's my grandpa? Splendid party indeed. Thank you so much for your help. If you want to throw in more parties, you'll need to upgrade your coop. But that's a whole different story for later. And since I'm a chicken of my word, here's something that will lead you to your grandfather. A token of our gratitude. Show it to Mark the shopkeeper and he should have some answers. Now, if you'll excuse me, milady, I have to go on my journey. My duty calls. Perhaps we'll find each other along the way. Thanks for everything, Cornelius the Brave. I hope we'll meet again. So, the amazing travels of Sir Cornelius, we found him in the farm twice now. So we need to also find him in the village, the underground, the lonely hills, the frozen peaks, the dusty desert, and the underground. Now apparently it's time to visit Mark now. Okay, we can do that. I'm guessing the disco ball like breaks when you pick it back up again. I don't know if I'm ready to get rid of this funky funky music though. I can't really dance very well. I mean, it's said that the disco ball was supposed to break in the process. <laughs> Maybe it'll break overnight. I don't know, it'll be gone in the morning or something. So I'm gonna take a little nap, I think. Oh, what I should have been doing in the meantime as well is keeping on recycling. Okay, so they're all watered as well. That's wonderful. Oh man, I should have put my little chicken thing in my in my house, shouldn't I? In fact, I'm gonna do that because my inventory is limited. So this is my first decoration. Yeah, that's looking a little bit more in sync with the, the room now. Because some of the stuff was way too small for the room before. It just looked really stupid. 
And then we've also got... What's that? Oh, proof of chicken recognition. So that's what I've got to take to Mark. Okay, fine. We will take Mark, the proof of chicken recognition. Not before we've done a massive potato harvest. So I think we're doing quite well, considering we are on, I think it is still episode two, and we're halfway through. We've cleared the whole farm, we've got chickens up and running, we've got uh, like quite a lot of stuff planted, we've got quite a lot of produce coming through. But I do feel like maybe it's time to start to possibly thinking about <laughs> Upgrading some of this, um, putting in better recyclers, bigger, better ones. I'm not sure yet. Okay, I'm gonna plant pumpkins and tomatoes, I think, mostly. Got loads of potatoes now. That's all my pumpkins gone. tomatoes and then if we have any spare room I'll plant potatoes but I don't think we're going to so that's fine let's have a look and see if I picked up any new plant fields which I did we got four new ones beautiful so I will pop in I'll pop in the daisies actually I only picked up like three of those and uh, I feel like that will make more inventory space. Um, I haven't yet had to make any chests or anything, but I probably will do soon. Might be a wise idea at this point to start on storage. So uh, it's actually probably going to be this one, isn't it? Pigsty, cow, shed, basic bird feeder. Bird feeder, Cubot Lodge, Kennel, Cat, Raccoon, so that's all the stuff we had before. I do need to purchase a kitchen, I think, so we can make some food. Rudy sells the up- oh, so the upgrades are, are, are here, okay. That's pretty cool. There were, there were a lot more tabs here. So they've very much like uh, made things. Oh, solar power, nice. They've made things a lot more simple. What was I doing? I was making a chest, wasn't I? So basic chest craft. You can just start putting things in it for now. I'm gonna put it this way around. I, I might, I'll probably change like everything in the whole thing. Uh, oh, right click, okay. My feathers can go in there. Pretty much everything can go in there. I'll keep those, these boxes, they're quite useful. I obviously need the chicken recognition. I'm probably gonna need the acorns at some point. Probably don't need to carry around a load of potato seeds uh, either. I'll keep the trash though because every time I go past the trash compactor, I'll pop it in. Right, next, let's water these crops. Then I think I'm going to go and try and get a kitchen off Mark and uh, talk to him about Cornelius's token. Then we can actually feed the chickens. I think that might be quite useful. <laughs> Okay, so I think we have fast travel by Mark uh, on the village entrance. So I feel like I'm making a bit, I don't know if I am, but it feels like I'm making faster progress. And I think that is because. Okay. Because we've got fast travel, some of the clearing is a little bit quicker as well. So, here, one of the chickens gave this to me. Will that be enough? May I learn some answers now? Interesting. Yes, this will do. I see you're not wasting time. I'd love to help you out, 
but when your grandfather left, I lost a very important client. My last client, actually. And I can't have that. Not in this economy. I was actually packing up when you arrived. When everyone moved to Mars, I thought that I could just can't abandon my shop, the work of my life. And what can an old shopkeeper do on Mars where everything is just delivered to your door? No chance to talk to customers, learn their needs, help them out with the right products, or just have a good conversation. But now that everyone is gone, I've started to regret my decision. What, there's no one else here? Most of my clients used to live in the village, but now that this whole place is ruined and polluted, well, everyone moved out. But you can help us out. You're young, and since you happen to have a glorious vac pal, you'll be able to bring the village back to its former glory in no time. Okay, what do I need to do? You may want to start with finding the house of Harold, a farmer. You'd definitely be able to use some of his knowledge. And me, well, I'll have a new client, and I won't have to move out. Is there anything else I could do for you? I've prepared a convenient list for you. Solving these problems would be a tremendous help for us. Now off you go, girl, you can do it. Once you're done, I promise I'll help you find your grandpa. So, it's all the filters and hydraulic parts and all that sort of thing. So to bring more people to the village would require a source of clean water. What stands in the way of that is a huge pile of toxic waste located near the lake. We must construct a filter that will take care of that. Mark knows how to do it, so I just have to collect the necessary parts. So previously it's always been very much and i just need to quickly click my back oh it's better um previously it's always been that sort of you you go around and people do move back into the village but it's never been a real objective of the game uh but now it's become more of an objective so i quite like that mark's plan to bring more customers requires the village to be both less toxic and nicer to the eyes the solution appears to be replanting the old trees using acorns seems simple enough okay Thank you, Cornelius the Brave. Now most other people are gone, we other things must stick together. That's why I have to help Mark, by helping Harold. Gosh, that's a lot of helping. First step, though, is to find Harold and find out what bothers him. Okay. Right, the first, 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 first thing is to clean all this up. Open the suitcase. And then crack on into the village. No, pick up a kitchen and then crack on into the village. Hello, Eldora. What can this old man do for you today? Uh, Grandpa said you'll be able to tell me more about running the farm in his absence. Let's, let's talk about this. Now, you need to take care of llamas, of course. I bet you found some vicious robots while cleaning, haven't you? Those will keep trashing your farm. They're powered up by batteries. Collect the batteries, feed them to llamas. That'll make sure no ro more robots or trash will be dumped on the farm again. And they can help you collect more materials. Ah. Those llamas I found on the farm are not only cute, but might prove very useful. They seem to like batteries, and I happen to know some evil robots that have them. I should make use of that, and make those llamas my friends. I need to find one more llama, though. Hello, doggy. Oh, hi, doggy. I wonder how the dog houses and things work nowadays. Because they've changed that up a, like quite a few times. Since I've started playing. Oh, hi, doggy! So you need a dog house before I can get you to come live with me. Because it was that you you took, like spoke to the dog and then the dog would come with you. But it's gone back, I think, to the older way of things which it used to be that you'd build a dog house and then you'd be able to invite the dog to come and stay on the farm. So it seems to have gone back to that model of things. Hello, piggy. what I had to upgrade my tool to do there. So I'm just going to try and sort of like vaguely make my way across to Harold. Try not to die, you know, that'd be always quite handy. Ah, I ran out of water! <laughs> ah. You come here. Okay. So 
so annoying when one little piece won't come up. You're like, no! Like I said, I'm gonna mostly just whoa, avoid these guys. There's no reason for me to die to them. It's just silly. If I do it, it's just my own silly fault, really. No reason at all. Okay, so the tree is polluted beyond repair. I need to cut it and plant a new one. Tree is cut, tree is replanted. There's like quite a lot of trash that needs to be properly picked up around here. So gonna be very methodical about it all. Well I I always say that at the start, don't I? I'm going to be very methodical and then method goes out of the window. I will try to keep being methodical. Well, so that should open that little door there. We'll get in and get the suitcase or whatever's in there. Trying not to let anything fall in the water. There's nothing worse than when it all falls in the water. We've got some food. There was a pig, a suitcase, and a button. I know, I haven't built you a pig house yet. I need to probably find Harold for that. I think Harold is the keeper of the piggy stuff. So I think that's opened my way down into the underground there. But we're gonna leave the underground for now. I'm gonna do overground and then underground. And then if you're lucky, we can do wombling free. <laughs> no, I don't think we'll do wombling free. Ah, uh, actually, no, it hasn't opened the gate to the underground. It's opened the gate, I remember now, the gate over here. This is interesting. A button over there. But there's a whole wall here now. There used to be a bridge. Let's open something on the other side, but I'm not sure what yet. And so they very much um, section things off a bit more. And honestly, for someone that... I think sometimes this game can be a bit overwhelming with how much you've got to tidy up. So I feel like actually just going through each section a little bit at a time can make it feel a little less daunting. Well, I know some people did prefer the, the very open world look. I'm not really in either camp, to be honest. I don't think I really particularly mind either way. Alright, piggy. I will bring you back to my farm soon, don't worry. And you, doggy. Alright, so this is looking a lot nicer. Sort of up to up to this this little gate area here. I feel like I've done a kind of complete job there. Ah, uh, once I pick up these last little bits of trash. I feel like I should just, you know, complete the area, get it all completely nice. I miss something around there. Something is glowing still, so let's just see. Oh yeah. I think I was trying to go in that direction and I forgot. 
Okay, like I say, we're not going to the underground just yet. Underground can wait until another episode. But I think we've done quite well. So I'm just going to... I will have my hoover on. But I probably will have to run through the whole thing at the end and just... Whoa! New day. However, I do feel like maybe that's going to be the end of the episode there. So we got uh, some llamas. We got the llama house all done. We did a whole load of quest progress. And uh, it is now a new day. We got knocked out trying to clear the village. I did say it probably take me a couple of uh, episodes to clear the village. So the fact that we're already clearing the village on episode two is pretty cool i think so uh yeah well done us so i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more please subscribe i'll let you know when the videos are out i hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome